A funeral procession was held on Sunday for some of the victims of two suicide bomb attacks that struck a number of funeral tents packed with mourning families in a Shia neighborhood in Baghdad a day earlier. At least 72 people were killed in the attacks in Sadar City, a neighborhood in the capital. Two suicide bombers, one in an explosive-laden car and the other on foot, targeted the funeral tents. The assaults, the latest in a months-long surge of violence, are a chilling reminder of insurgents' determination to reignite sectarian conflict more than a decade after the U.S.-led invasion. Thousands of Iraqis have been killed in violent attacks in recent months, a level of bloodshed not seen since Iraq pulled back from the brink of civil war in 2008, despite appeals for restraint from Shia and Sunni political leaders. The attack on the funeral was one of the largest single assaults on civilians in Iraq in recent years. It happened shortly before sunset. Police said at least 72 people were killed and more than 120 were wounded in the attack. One bomber was able to drive up near the tent before detonating his deadly payload, and another on foot blew himself up nearby, police said. A powerful blast occurred here, killing and wounding several people. While people were evacuating casualties, another blast took place. The explosion set the tents and several nearby cars on fire, sending a towering plume of thick black smoke over the city. Police said the first blast went off as dinner was being served in one of the tents set up for the funeral of a member of the Al-Fartusi tribe. He estimated that more than 500 people were attending the event. More than 4,000 people have been killed in violent attacks between April and August, United Nations figures show. Another 493 have died so far in September, according to an Associated Press tally. This is Armando Cordoba for Rudal English.